There are two types of cucumbers. There's males and there's females. The males come up in the most showy numbers. They tend to be the most predominant in our cucumber patches, as most men are. However, they don't bring the goods. They aren't the important thing that keeps humanity going. That is the females that we eat, love, and cherish. And the females have what look to be like little baby cucumbers on them, and they tend to be not that prolific or don't appear in the same numbers as the males do. So today's video, we're actually gonna look at how you can increase the number of female cucumbers easily with some environmental changes, some seed choices, overall just kind of how to control them. So let's get into it. Yes, you heard me correctly when I said nature stacks the deck against us by giving us more males than females when it comes to cucumbers. In 2014, there was a study done on this to look at exactly how many male to female flowers there are and the male flowers dominated 10 to 1 over the females yeah that's how staggered it is so you're not crazy for thinking you have mostly male flowers so if we want more cucumbers we need to trick and train our cucumbers into making more female flowers which is relatively simple to do and number one is understanding ganaceous varieties so there's an entire category of cucumbers out there that was specifically bred just to give us female flowers mostly and we call these ganaceous varieties now they're not GMO, despite popular belief. They're just selectively bred to have more females than males. The, de the idea here is to just skip the awkward male phase and just give the crowd what they're looking for, females. Nine, there's a meta-analysis done on this whole ganaceous variety cucumbers, and it showed that it in can increase the yields by up to 40 percent yeah 40 percent so because these ganaceous varieties have higher levels of female flowers there isn't many male flowers which can work against you in this case so what we tend to find in these packages is just regular cucumbers thrown into the mix so if you're gonna get a ganaceous pack in your best interest to plant the whole pack because it will include some males you guys keep on getting whacked by a tree because it's windy here all the time. Two days now, just straight gale force winds. Okay. If you grow in Grenatius and you start seeing all these male flowers popping up, don't be concerned about it becoming a frat boy spring breakaway. It's just simply that one or two plants that are tossed in there to help the females get the job done. Sometimes we need them, ladies. Sometimes we need them. Now, what if I told you that just simply changing the temperature can actually hugely affect how many male or female flowers you get on just a regular cucumber plant. Cucumbers are what we call environmentally sex determinant, meaning they determine the sex of flower and the frequency in which they're produced on the environment that they're exposed to. 2006, there was a paper done and it actually showed that cooler soils around the 20 to 25 degrees Celsius mark and shorter days caused more female flower production, while higher temps around 28 degrees Celsius during the period of flowering caused more male flowers to be produced. So if you're realizing a high influx of male flowers, what you want to do is actually to add a very thick layer of mulch to your cucumbers. I have a video on mulch, so go check that out. But essentially a thick layer of mulch, somewhere around the two to three inch mark, will help bring that soil temperature down and ultimately the root zone temperature down, which is the one that we care about and can help to produce more females than males. Human males tend to release their hormones in the form of not using deodorant or cologne. And while they think that works on women, it doesn't, just a heads up. Cucumbers can do something very similar. Ethylene actually is very specifically released and that can increase female flowers. And it's actually used on a agricultural growing scale often. 2010, they did a study on this. They sprayed the crops down with this chemical. It actually increased the female flower ratio by 70%. So it's quite drastic. Now, you don't have access to this, but what you can do is you can cause stress, which will release this chemical and therefore cause more females. So the way to cause stress is actually to pull back on fertilizer, specifically nitrogen. This slight stressor can actually cause ethylene to be produced by the plant and then released in a gaseous form to the surrounding plants, which in turn works in your favor. So pull back on your nitrogen fertilizer, whether that's organic or synthetic, and watch the magic happen. Which leads me to my next one, which is actually about how fertilizer, specifically phosphorus, correlated with more female flowers. So while nitrogen in excess reduced the number of female flowers, 
phosphorus and a slight surplus increase the female flowers. So when you're looking for fertilizers, you may want to look for something that's lower in nitrogen, higher in phosphorus, or has no nitrogen, but does have phosphorus. And there's lots of options out there. I'll link some down below. Now, if you've ever looked at a cucumber and you've noticed that it's kind of thick at the top and it kind of gets skinny at the end, or for a matter of zucchini, anything that looks thick at the, t at the top and then gets skinny at the end, that's impartial pollination. The best way to increase pollinators in the garden is to reduce the monocropping side of things and try to mix in other flowers and pollinator attractors to help increase the pollination rate. We want complete pollination, which ultimately gives us our cucumbers. So if you increase the female flowers, you then need to increase the pollinators because impartial pollination results in deformed curved, goofy looking cucumbers, which we do not want, or just buy a beehive because you know, they're cheap and everything. They're super inexpensive, very affordable. So quick recap, Ganaceous varieties, getting that temperature a little bit lower, favoring nutrients that helps with flowering and not just vegetative growth, increasing the number of pollinators and hitting that subscribe button and joining the Geek Crew because we're awesome. So that's what Google says you should watch next. So go watch it. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.